Another fast break of the words. Oh, miscommunication between the two imports. Open oh. and me. <laughs> and Joe Ward brings the house down as well as the goal post with him as he comes through with a windmill slam dunk. What's up, mga idol? Ngayong episode na ito, isa na namang magaling na import ang ating ipi-feature. Ang tinaguri ang Jumping Joe ng Hinebra. Walang iba kung di si Joe Ward. Joseph Nathan Ward ang kanyang buong pangalan na ipinanganak noong January 21, 1963 sa Barnesville, Georgia, USA. Maaga siyang nahilig sa basketball at sa edad lamang na 11, naglaro na siya para sa isang youth program sa Georgia. Pagtungtong ng college, naglaro siya ng isang taon para sa Clemson University bago lumipat sa University of Georgia. Sa kanyang sophomore season, napabilang siya sa mga starters hanggang sa kanyang senior year. Inirang din siyang coaches all SEC first team at may average na 15.6 points at 5.3 rebounds per game. Naging paborito itong si Ward ng mga Georgia Bulldog fans dahil na rin sa kanyang jumping ability. At noong 1986 NBA Draft, pinili siya ng Phoenix Suns bilang 31st overall pick, ngunit hindi rin napabilang sa final lineup. October 20, 1988, nang unang masilayan si Joe Ward sa Pilipinas nang maglaro ito bilang import para sa Anyeho 65ers. At nakatambal ang isa pang import na si Tommy Davis. Wearing jersey number 32, midway na ng 1988 Rainforest Conference noon at pinalitan niya ang import na si Kevin Gamble na naging maganda ang karir sa NBA matapos itong mapalitan sa PBA. Dahil na rin sa di kagandahan ng standing ng Anyeho noon, nahihirapan na silang makapasok sa finals. Ngunit lagi pa rin inaabangan ang kanilang laro dahil na rin sa explosive na tambalan nila ni Tommy Davis. Nakalaban nila ang kuponan ng presto para sa best of 5 series para sa third place finish kung saan nanalo ang Anyeho 3-1. Ang ilan sa mga tumatak na laro ni Ward ay noong nakalaban nila ang Shell kung saan umiscore siya ng 78 points at 75 points naman nang makalaban nila ang San Miguel. Si Jumping Joe din ay nakilala sa kanyang pagluhod, pagdarasal at paghalik sa playing court matapos ang kanilang panalo. And look at Jumping Joe Ward. Sing some prayers, Joe. He always does that. Speaks well of the man. And in the eyes of some of the Pure Foods players, I thought I saw the glimmer of tears. Well, that's only to be expected after all. They play their guts out. But the hot dog fans will remain hot dog fans. I'm certain of that. And look at him. Whooping it up after praying. May isang laro din kalaban ang presto kung saan na-involve ang buong Anyeho team sa isang gulo. Narito ang video ng iyon. Anyeho. Cesar, woo! I thought they'd take his head away. And Cesar is on a rampage. He's hot. He's charging at Tommy Davis. That was a close line foul by Tommy Davis and Tommy Davis breaks out into white green. That was a dangerous foul. And even Joe Ward has gotten into the action. It's a regular brawl now. Here's Atoyko. And it's a regular brawl right here. The referee should really take control. And I thought this man was a minister. Joe Ward on a rampage. He's going wild. And Punch is still being thrown and those are some seats now. This is a regular brawl. This is not pretty. No, the security has to come in because some fans are getting hurt. The security very, very slow to react right here. And Sonny Jaworski has taken control of the issue. And Atoy Ko got involved in that fray. And Joe Ward was a wild man. I have not seen Joe Ward like this. This is, uh, he certainly was intimidated. And I think he reacted to that. He was provoked, but still, the a minister move. like him should have kept his cool. The chairs flew, bodies flew, everybody was occupying special seats and special ringside. All those seats 
disappeared in Ito and Son. I'll tell you, we were looking for the security of the Ultra. Okay, Tony Davis go. started this all with that clothesline tackle. That's, that's what you call a clothesline tackle. That has no place in professional basketball, and I think Tommy Davis should be ejected for that dangerous foul. Then, of course, the hothead Philip Cesar trying to go after Tommy Davis. Then we'll see what might have happened. I think there might have been uh, an exchange of words there between Joe Ward and some other uh, Presto player. I think Philip Cesar might have said something to Joe Ward, and Joe Ward there. might have been provoked. Then he holds Philip Cesar by the chin, so I think it was Joe Ward who initiated the action and Sonny Kabatu trying to hold Joe Ward back. Bang! Right there. And that's when all hell broke loose. Atoiko getting into the picture. Yes. Armand Codinera there. And Dennis Abatu, and of course, he'll always be around to join in the fray. And like a wild man, you see Joe Ward going up to the stand. He's after Philip Cesar. Maybe the intensity might have, be, might have caught up uh, to the players. But the fans' interest really has to be upheld here. I think some fans might have gotten hurt. And you see Tommy Davis swinging that, that chair. You saw that in your slow-mo replay. And Joe Ward certainly unbecoming of a minister that he claims to be. Matapos ang kanyang PBA stint, bumalik siya sa Amerika at naglaro sa CBA o Continental Basketball Association hanggang sa ito ay magretiro noong taong 1994. At pagkatapos ng kanyang pagretiro, pinasok naman niya ang mundo ng pagko-coach. Ginawaran din siya ng University of Georgia bilang SEC legend sa conference tournament noong taong 2006. At siyan mga idol ang naging kwento ni Jumping Joe Ward. Maraming salamat sa panonood at huwag nyo namang kalimutang mag-subscribe sa ating channel at pindutin ng bell button para updated kayo sa susunod pang mga videos. Shoutout nga pala sa nag-request ng video na ito na sina Perry Lagpao, Ludivico Balais at Juno De Villa. For the hot dogs. And look at Jumpin' Joe soaring high for... Another rebound, which would be 17. his 17th. And Joe Ward consummates the task himself with another sizzling 17.